The biggest and the brightest moon of the year is coming, and you should not miss this opportunity. Skygazers will be treated to a rare astronomical event when a super blue moon rises with Saturn on August 30th and 31st. A super blue moon is a celestial event that combines two interesting lunar phenomena, the supermoon and the blue moon. But what makes the super blue moon of 2023 so special is that it's going to take place on the day around which Saturn will be at its closest distance to Earth and appear just a few degrees away from the moon in the sky. But first, to understand what a super blue moon is, it's essential to unpack these two terms individually and then bring them together. The term supermoon describes a full moon that appears larger and brighter in the sky than a typical full moon. But why does this size and brightness variation happen? Well, the Moon orbits the Earth in an elliptical or slightly oval trajectory. This means that there are points during its orbit when it's closer to the Earth, its perigee, and points when it's farther away, its apogee. A supermoon occurs when a full moon coincides closely with the perigee, making it appear about 14% larger and 30% brighter than when it's at its farthest point or during a micro moon. Next, we have a blue moon. The phrase once in a blue moon denotes a rare event, and this saying draws inspiration from the infrequency of blue moons. Contrary to its name, a blue moon doesn't mean the moon turns blue. Instead, the term blue moon has historically been used to describe unusual lunar events. The most common definition of a blue moon is the second full moon in a calendar month with two full moons. Typically, each month has only one full moon, but given the moon's cycle is about 29.5 days, there's a small window for a second one to squeeze into a single calendar month. This happens approximately once every 2.7 years. There's also a lesser known, older definition of a blue moon. It's the third full moon in a season that has four full moons. Traditionally, each season, between a solstice and equinox, has three full moons, one for each month. But on rare occasions, a season will contain four full moons, and the third of those is dubbed a blue moon. So combining the above phenomena, a super blue moon happens when the second full moon of a month, or the third in a four full moon season, coincides with the moon's closest approach to Earth, perigee. The result is a moon that's not only larger and brighter than usual, but also has the added distinction of being a blue moon. This occurrence is even rarer than either a supermoon or a blue moon on their own. To the naked eye, a super blue moon will primarily be notable for its size and brightness. Remember, it won't actually look blue. The actual color of the moon can be affected by atmospheric conditions on Earth. For instance, after volcanic eruptions or significant wildfires, the moon can sometimes take on a bluish or even reddish hue due to particles in the atmosphere. However, this coloring is not directly related to the term blue moon. The super blue moon of 2023 will rise on August 30th and its full phase will occur at 9.35 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time or 1.35 a.m. Greenwich Mean Time on August 31st. So the night of August 30th to 31st is when the moon will be at its closest to Earth. According to NASA, the moon will be about 357,000 kilometers, or about 220,000 miles away. That's 27,000 kilometers, or about 17,000 miles closer to Earth than average. It's a blue moon because it's the second full moon of August 2023. When you gaze at the moon on the night of August 30th, you'll notice a bright speck of light close to it. It's not a star, but the ringed planet Saturn. August 30th also marks the day of conjunction of the Moon and Saturn in Aquarius. The two celestial bodies will be just a few degrees apart as seen in the sky. What's even more remarkable is that Saturn will be around its opposition around the super blue moon. The term opposition in astronomy is used to describe the position of a celestial body when it is directly opposite the Sun in the sky as viewed from Earth. In other words, the Earth is located directly between that celestial body and the Sun. The term is often used in reference to outer planets in our solar system, especially when discussing their visibility from our planet. When it comes to Saturn, or any outer planet, reaching its opposition means that it is at its closest approach to Earth for that year, making it an ideal time for observation. 
At opposition, Saturn rises in the east as the sun sets in the west, and it sets in the west as the sun rises in the east. This means that the planet is visible in the sky for the entire night. Because Saturn is opposite the sun from our perspective, and relatively close to Earth at this time, it reflects sunlight directly back, making it brighter than at other times of the year. The rings of Saturn, if tilted favorably, can add to this brilliance. For amateur astronomers and enthusiasts, the opposition of Saturn represents the best time to view the planet through a telescope. Not only is Saturn brighter, but its close proximity means that it appears larger in the eyepiece, allowing for clearer details of its rings and possibly some of its moons. It provides an excellent opportunity for clear, detailed observations, as well as beautiful photographic moments for astrophotographers. You may download one of the space apps given in the description to quickly locate the planets in the sky according to your place. Don't confuse Jupiter with Saturn as they both are well up in the sky after midnight. Jupiter rises a few hours after Saturn, and in the absence of Venus, it's the brightest speck of light in the night sky. On the night of August 30th and 31st, it'll be noticeably distant from the super blue moon. So, happy sky gazing!